DiGiorni, uh because the moon has gone behind the clouds and Rios did her business uh, to to uh, convince him that he's a bad kitty and uh, because of Chris working to lift him up in the air uh, he does uh, actually convert back and he's looking kind of in shock like he's not realizing where he is and he this says might be a bad time to just drop him <laughs> gently please <laughs> Uh, I think he should oh, 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 yeah, cool should. down in the air a bit first. We should use my cuffs and uh, zip ties on him before you let him loose. How about use that silver necklace as a tie? I'm getting out my speed cuffs all the same. Yeah, but, you know, added bit of protection, just... Uh, you do know you're a were-tiger, yeah? Did it happen Talking... again? Yeah, I mean, you just suddenly prior to you blacked out, and now you're in the middle of the air, and we're all in combat mode. So I think it's a safe assumption on your part to understand you were a bit were tigery. Why do I feel so bad? We uh, weren't um, exactly the nicest verbally. I mean, I I did were at you. Sorry. <laughs> He actually feels down at his left ribs um, uh, where they are. And he's standing there, you know, mostly naked. Okay, you don't know where his clothes are. Uh, for the sake of decency, we're going to say he's got a loincloth on. But he does feel down by the left side of his ribs. And anybody looking close enough sees that there is a humongous bruise there. Ooh. That wasn't me. That wasn't me. And... Uh, and he says, I, I have to go away. I have to go before, before I can turn again. I'm sorry. And he turns to climb up on the rocks over here. I didn't drop him, though. You didn't drop him? No. Okay. Are you going <laughs> to let him go? I mean, I was like, I look around. Do you guys want need to let him go yeah yeah don't yeah okay if, i then if, if he wants to, if wants to go make sure you run run far away from here it, like try to stay as far away from humans as possible otherwise you might find yourself trying to have a tasty snack honestly, <laughs> honestly i would prefer he take the trail back in case he runs into the people following us good point it's, mm -hmm. If he has any uh, friends, family you want to say goodbye to before you uh, go and abandon society, that's a probably a good idea. Man, this got dark. <laughs> <laughs> it's Orosh. It's supposed I to know, be. I know, but. I... Wow. Sorry, I got a dog. That was not wow. a were tiger. <laughs> no, we got a dog. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, so. Just to make sure, uh, Chris, you go to put him down. Yes. Okay. He says again, "I'm, I'm sorry. I did not know this was going to happen." And he goes and and bolts. Probably, you know what? Let me get out the measuring tool for heaven's sake. He he does. He kind of bolts off this way. Okay. I'm and back. Then... Oh, okay. Well, uh, welcome back. Had a discipline. Uh. Granny dog. Oh, okay. Oh. Welcome back. Okay. Uh, so you have the trail to yourselves after a moment. I'm going to presume all of you pretty much remain armed. Yes. Yes. And, yeah. uh, and let's run for the temple. Okay. See if we can't outmaneuver the fire before it gets here. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, actually, you know what? I do need to, to kind of roll and see if anybody got hurt on that. Um, how do I want to do this? Okay. Uh, and what can, what can I do to protect anybody with my role as a firefighter? Is there a maneuver role or something I could make for us? Well, actually, the one who might be able to... Um, 
to help out is actually Chris with his telekinetic barrier. Okay, so but hang on, I'm I'm coming up with something here. Um, oh, let me go ahead and coming up with an arbitrary way to damage you guys. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay, now. Okay, so peaches, and, and that kind of makes sense. You're actually closest, closest to the fire. Um, let's see, fire is on page 137, if I recall correctly. Peaches. Um, the fire is really close, and it kind of bursts from over here. Okay, from, from uh, that mm -hmm. group of vegetation. Uh, what I want you to do is roll me a basic survival test. Difficulty number 10. And let's All see what us? you... No, just, just peaches. Oh, man, I went and closed my sheet, didn't I? Dang it. Holy sheet. I know. Oh, I know. man. So survival, you said? Yes. Or standard difficulty. Very, very nice. Yes. Okay, so you feel the heat on the back of your neck in time to basically get out of the way. Uh, you manage to push Chris forward once, uh, kind of bumping into him. Uh, how do you act, Chris? Wow. <laughs> um, I, I would just say uh, I, I would uh, be calling fire. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm like, you know, tr and trying to protect you at the same time. You could see me do this. Okay. If I ran into you. Someone else was just yeah. trying to talk into my ear. Uh, who was that? It sounded like either Gordon or Justin. Mm, I didn't say anything. Okay. I just, I, I just said, oh, that was it. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, Justin, what were you saying? Not I, says I. <laughs> Not I, says I. Okay, so yeah. Um, all of you manage to get out of the fire uh, before it really spreads close enough for you to uh, for you to be caught up in it. Uh, what Peaches felt was the closest thing uh, to the rest of you. So yeah, and I, I really don't want it to uh, prevent us from reaching the temple. So yes. I would I would be hurting people in that direction towards the temple. Yes. Do, 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 do. No problem. Um, Take shelter, quick. Now, um, oh crap. Okay, uh, there is a new piece of software that is getting ready to be added to the Tor game system, but we have to wait until we can upgrade to version 11 to get it. That automatically takes any cards that you had in your pool and uh, puts them back into your hand once the combat is completed. It's been tested, it's ready to go, but we don't have it yet. So if any of you have cards in your card pool, please uncheck them for card pool and have them go back to your hand. And then uh, while you're doing that, I'm going to read on uh, because I, I kind of interrupted the, the whole thing. The trail described by the old man is overgrown and the going is slow in spots as machetes hack through seemingly endless obstructions. At long last you come to what Anjura called the Crying Bridge, which is an old hemp vine and wood plank bridge that stretches 25 meters across to the other side, with a drop to the river rapids below of easily 60 meters. The bridge is, has ancient wood planks which all seem intact if worn from use, with one rope just above waist height on each side to hold on to. These ropes seem a little more weather worn than the planks, but you couldn't begin to guess what supports or what the supports beneath those planks look like. Looking across to the sheer rock wall on the other side of the chasm, you notice two things. First, the bridge may have been named after the many rib rivulets of water you see pouring from hundreds of holes in the rock face, cascading to the river below. Uh, second, roughly halfway across the bridge, the most evident on the uh, on the other side, oh, and most evident, I, I, I read it wrong, and most evident on the other side, things seem to be a skosh brighter than where you're at. 
Though it is an inspiring sight and one that gives you a bit of hope for the journey ahead, it's obvious no humans have seen this in some time. If you're to judge by the condition of the bridge across and the overgrowth you've been plowing through since walking this morning. Uh, as you're taking a rest to plan your crossing to prepare for any contingencies that may spring from the age of the bridge, one of you brings to the attention of the others, and it doesn't matter who it is, uh, a low rumble in the skies above. Within seconds, some manner of old fighter plane flies rapidly overhead and disappears behind the trees. Just when you think you were not seen, that thought is placed in doubt when the visage of the plane is seen arcing upward and into the lighter air above. Okay, so you've got a 25 meter bridge to get across that's over a 60 meter chasm, and you've got at least one aircraft flipping around, and you might be able to guess at where that aircraft came from, especially Chris and Peaches, because you've seen one of these before. Yep. Oh man, is that the <laughs> Nile Empire? Uh, you don't see well you know what let me give you a chance to see um, if if you and Chris would like to do so you can make uh, let's see are any of the rest of us from uh, no okay so for Chris and Peaches you you may make a find test um, it's gonna be a 12 though because uh, the plane is flying rather rapidly and it's uh, quite a distance away right now I thought you said it was banking back around towards us. it's it's banking up toward up towards the sky yes but it's still a good it still went probably a good half mile before it started arcing up so ginger you see it and or I'm yeah. sorry, peaches. And, uh, difficulty is uh, challenging yeah, 12. 12. Yep. Yeah, um, I'm sure it's those, it's it's either Mo and his fighter squadron, or <laughs> it's those infernal, uh, insidious woo people uh, <laughs> after us and trying to get to the temple ahead of us. They might fighter even fire plane. on us. Yeah, if it's a fighter plane, I should be able to see this. Okay. And if it's and if it's Mo's plane, I should be able to recognize the call not call letters. Okay, Chris, you're oh on the, you're on the wrong side of the path to be able to see the plane. Gin, uh, Peaches, you can see the aircraft with whomever else is on your side, and you see a large alligator head uh, with a an Egyptian headdress like the uh, like the shock troopers Raw. generally wear. Well, uh, out of a gun. Actually, this one is Sebek, if I recall. But uh, yes, it is. It is an indicator of one of the the divisions of the Nile Empire uh, military. So, good guy, bad guy. Um, you hear me swearing vehemently in Spanish. All right, bad guy. <laughs> yeah. Enough. Um. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it, it, it doesn't bear translating. It's pretty dirty. Okay, I recommend we try to get as across the bridge as fast as we can. I'll yeah. go last because I'm pretty heavy. Yeah, I, I as I point to that that uh, Spanish effing plane, and uh, <laughs> and uh, try I try to get people to hurry, and I I actually turn to Chris Cross and I say, if you could shield us if it starts firing. Uh. Just so you guys remember, for my telekinetic barrier, it's only applied to self. Dang it. Oh, that's right. Okay. Right. Well, that doesn't mean you can't uh, take a f hold of a flap on the plane and push it down so that the plane sh shoots <laughs> upwards. He's only he got a, like... a, a certain range. That would, yeah. 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 Limited range. Well, so do they. So, <laughs> yeah, but their look, range is a whole lot more than yours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> look, y'all start going. I got a pretty big gun. If nothing else, I can try to draw its fire. I'm heavy. The bridge will break if I go first. Gotcha. Let's, let's not so, take our chances. Let's hurry. But with safety in mind, I pull out a safety harness and uh, we'll do this group by pairs to the two lightest. Who are they? 
Well, I, I would say the ninja's one of them. Okay. I guess. The ninja. She. How? Wait, yeah, yeah. Paul? Well, yeah. What's up? How far is it from one side to the other? 25 meters. So. Okay. Ri so. Ri Rios and uh, Katsumi together. Uh, uh, who wants to be take, carried over by telekinesis? That's a good idea. Uh, um, you can only take so much weight. And yes, remember... Like one person at a time. Or at least, like, a quote-unquote heaviest person who will wreck the bridge. I will go last. Alright. Um, um, I'll, I'll, I'll go first if nobody else is going to go far first. And okay. Do it test the bridge and i will i will uh string some safety lines as i go okay uh ho 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 <laughs> hold on let me let me get some control back here um okay i'm gonna start at the top chris um remember part of the telekinesis thing uh is that your weight is included in being able to fly over there if you're carrying someone else you're going to be carrying a lot and may not be I, able to make it. I understand, but it's 25 meter range at a minimum. Well, uh, if I'm not mistaken, so it's 25 I, meters, period, uh, unless you get a good or outstanding yeah. success. Yeah. And you said he wasn't going to lift himself. He was going to lift the people one at a time. Oh, you're putting other people over? Yeah. <laughs> uh, and while... Or my, you know, myself first, whichever you know, I was like, I was like, however you guys want to do this. If you want me on the other side, and just in case you fall, I can do a reaction, try to talk Nisus. Or you would want me just to go from this side, just pull you over across. And I suggested that he do me first while I string, try to string some safety lines with my rope and stuff. Just to help the bridge be a little more secure for the next guy. And with Chris as a backup. Okay. Hmm. Let's get across as fast as possible. Okay. And safely. Well. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, well, this will be a, 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 I guess, a, what is it, a group action? Well, there is that, but here's what I'm going to say. Or, or ask, I should say. Um. Are you just throwing people and they're responsible for their own landing, or are you trying to land them safe? Uh, I would try to land them safe. Okay. I, I mean, some of us are cats and can't always land on our feet. So, yeah, I mean, if it's like going to end up like I just kind of toss them like a sack of potatoes, as long as I'm not hurling them into a tree or anything, I'm, I'm fine with that. Okay. It's just a, if it's a bit of a the thud on the ground instead of a gentle tap down. Uh huh. Okay. Well, I'm, here's here's. I'm willing to they for them to take that sacrifice. Oh, yeah. that's right. All of you go ahead and take the dem penalty off of your characters. Um. So, okay. So here's how we can work this. If you want to try and get them over in a single round, the difficulty number is going to be their weight, including all of their gear. Uh, plus four because it's 25 meters away and you're trying to trying to put them down as gently as possible on the second part you can make a standard roll based on their weight uh, and then take a second round to set them down properly without any penalty which one would you prefer to do so who wants to go fast and who wants to go slow is my question. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. I, I would like to uh, go slow the first round so I could maybe tie up some of the 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 bridge with Chris carrying me in case I fall. Okay, you're talking about several, several, probably dozens of minutes to work. Okay, never mind then. Just yeah. just shot. Uh shot put me over there. All right. <laughs> oh, now, yeah. okay. So here's what I'm trying to get at. There is a DSR that I'm going to start for people who are going to run across the bridge. 
okay, instead of flying across the bridge. Okay. Um, well, more falling across the bridge. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Penny is a lightweight. I think Rios and Katsumi are our lightweights. Well, <laughs> you know, I could kind of measure each one, but let me see who's going to go first. To let, let's, uh, what I want to do is is I want to find out who's doing who is walking across the bridge instead of allowing Chris to throw them. <laughs> I was I was planning on on taking myself over. Okay. Anyone else? And I was planning on going first by walking to see if I couldn't help uh, secure the bridge any. Okay. Again, you're still talking about dozens of minutes. But <sighs> yeah, don't you... have time. Which, which I don't think we have time for. No. I, I, I think I think we should all just put our hand uh, put ourselves in Chris's hands. Okay, you know what? Let me uh, let me kind of write this down. I need to get a this work. So is mind guy first? Now well, hold on, hold on. I don't think anybody's chosen who's going to be first yet. Let me let me write yeah. these down. So I still volunteer to be last because that plane comes towards us. I got a big energy weapon that might damage it a little bit. All right. Uh, Besides, if I take on a plane, I can totally brag to everybody else back at the Delphi Council. Okay, so <laughs> Darius, you're doing the bridge for sure? That was my plan. Okay. Uh, I will run through and, and see. We'll, we'll get a pecking order here to see who wants to fly uh, Air Chris. And... <laughs> <laughs> nice okay. Man. Katsumi, do you want to walk across the bridge or fly across the chasm? Fly. Huh? You want to fly? I think so. <laughs> okay, so yep. fly. Toma? Are you I'll gonna... go across the I'll go across the bridge, but I'm like I said, I'm gonna be dead last. Well, that that's fine. Are you flying or yeah. walking? I'll, walking? I'll walk. I'm going to walk. If anything okay. goes wrong, I'm going to put my, my feet in your hands, Chris. Okay. Well, Rios? I trusted light before, so I shall trust light again. I, I'm sorry. I you you cut you. out what? really bad. What? I've trusted flight before, so I, so I shall trust flight again. Okay. Does An Andon trust flight? Whether Andon trusts <laughs> flight or not, he's going before Rios. He insists. So he can set up a an OP. Uh, Peaches, you're flying or walking? Uh, I'll fly. Okay. So that'd be one, two, three, <laughs> four. Plus so far. Me, five. So, okay. So, Peaches, you wanted to go first? Yeah. Okay. Um, who wants to go next, Toma? Well, well, if 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 Peaches is going to be flying across with Chris's telekinesis, somebody can be walking simultaneously with that. Yes, this is true. Yeah. And, and another thing, what I want to do is secure a line on one side of the bridge, and be playing it out as Chris flies me across. So there would be something you could grab on to. Yeah. That's I want to lay out as. A security line, just in case. Oh, so yeah, you're taking some my rope. So that's okay, why so, I wanted to go first. So you're okay. So you're tying on one post, and yes. uh, and then you're going to have Chris shoot you over there and tie off on the yes, other while post. I, right, while well, I play out the line and tie it off on the other side. That's exactly right. Okay, so, so th it's your uh, hold on to Jesus handle. Yep, <laughs> yep. that's that's exactly what it, it's a safety line. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Because I love you guys. Thanks. Okay, um, oh, I love you that's too. so cute. Okay, so listen, uh, who would fly next? Because I, there are four, uh, four DSR uh, challenges to be met uh, by those who are walking. So who's going after Peaches? Flying. Uh oh, did I lose you guys? No, no I, I hear you. Here. 
And I, don't everybody volunteer all at once. Okay, I, I'm going to assign it then. Uh, Andon will go I assign it. Assigned it. Huh? Yeah, re remember, we have that uh, La Concha de la Madre uh, up in the air. I got a big gun. That's why I'm staying back. Uh, Gazutite yeah. H's. Um, okay, so, so here's... Peaches, Andon, Rios, Katsumi. Uh, peaches, Andon, Rios, Katsumi. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go back and forth on this. Um, let me kind of close that. Why is my... Oh, I accidentally hit the button and, it, and my mouse went crazy. Uh, uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, it happens. Oh, no. Yeah, that's it right there. That's what I wanted. Uh, so I'm going to add... I thought I closed that. Oh, that's what happened. I did not close that. Um... Now, where is it? So, Darius and Toma, uh, let me get you guys into the encounter. Uh, do I have, do I have the proper drama deck set up now? I think I do. Drama or Rorsch. There we go. Now, we're only using this. Well, okay. We may be using some of this uh, uh, for... Uh, shooting and stuff like that, but uh, let's begin combat. Um, oh, by the way, I forgot uh, enhancements and stuff uh, would have come off by now. Okay. Okay. So, uh, for all of you, please go into your effects tab on your character sheet. Find uh, enhance and um, ward enemy, mm -hmm. and hit the X. In, uh, at the right side. What that will do is the, that will move them from passive to inactive. Um, uh, and that way, if those spells are cast or invoked in the future, all you have to do is move them from inactive to passive by clicking on the check mark. So, um, we are not off to an auspicious start. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's one, there's one thing I wish to say. Real quick, before Darius crosses the bridge, I look at him and like, hey, stay safe, heavy metal. <laughs> um, my armor is not that heavy, actually. <clears throat> trying to lighten the mood here, all right? Just, just, <laughs> just accept it. <laughs> okay, yeah. very well. Yeah. I just didn't understand the reference. Uh, you wouldn't. It, Different it's time. It, it's a tantamount to saying good luck. Let me... Uh... Oh, thank you. <laughs> and and fortune favor you as well. Uh, wish you did. Anyway, do I need to make a skills test to make sure my lines are are secure? No, I'm not going to worry about it. Um, You're uh, a firewoman, huh? She's a firewoman. She, you know, well, she should be able to tie a knot. Yeah, but you know, military soldiers don't always shoot straight, even though we're taught, you know, exhaustively how to shoot. Okay, um, so, so it, it could happen. Fire Woman is your favorite band, The Cult? Oh, die. Ah, ah, ah. Die. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you can start moving, doing the maiden <laughs> voyage of the Criss Cross. Oh, Lord. No. Bravo, no. bravo. Okay. Uh -huh. And his name is Christopher Cross. <laughs> no, uh -huh. Chris Cross is his name. <laughs> Uh, fun, you all. Oh game. Lord! <laughs> okay. All right. So I have started chaos now. Um, Chris. Yes. Uh, let's see. We we've, we've got to figure out how heavy Peaches is. Uh, let me get on the right layer. Uh, Not as heavy as Metal Man. Let me kind of. A woman never see. tells, and a gentleman never asks. Do do do. Well, I can do, 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 figure it out by trying to lift her up. <laughs> I mean, no, if you look at the party, that. there's at least maybe two gentlemen here. And I'm not one of them. I'm going to call that. <laughs> that's there's a no lot gentleman of gear. in the land I come from. Okay. So let's see. Peaches, your strength is uh, nine. Okay. So, and it's all in kilograms. I don't think this is going to turn out to be right. Okay, plus two. So that's a 
I don't think that's right either. How much would you say Peaches weighs? Uh, By herself. She, she's pretty solid. I would say... About 150? One, yeah, 150, 160. Okay. That's what I was going to say. 150, 160. All right. So... Uh, let's, uh, let's, let's have a look at telekinesis again, Connor. Uh, let me roll up here. Let me scroll up. Telekinesis, it's, uh, it's your mind plus whatever you might be able to add. So a 10 will get you a hundred kilograms. That's 220 pounds. Okay. All right. Um, your difficulty number is actually going to be around an 11. Okay um for peaches to get across now your range again is 25 meters so you will be landing her like right at the head of the bridge um so you know don't miss so i'll just put in a minus uh minus one yes to the if you would please yes yeah okay uh now now that'll be Ooh, wait, why do I have the darkness status effect? What do you mean? Why it, is it still showing you've got the darkness thing? Yeah. Hang on, let me go to your effects. Um, yeah, why is that showing that? Yeah, I just went into my rolls and saying darkness minus two. Okay, telekinesis. Let me see if it... I'll be damned. And it does. Why is that there? Should we move it to an active again? Yeah, try, uh, try, uh, try and move. You know what? Let me do it. Um, okay. Oh, okay. I just did mine and it worked just fine. Oh, dim is a temporary effect. Okay. Uh, let's see. Is it still there? Try and... Uh, Oops, that's not what I meant to do. I know. You're fine. Yeah, it's still there. Okay, go ahead and, and delete the darkness effect off your character sheet. Completely. And let's see what that does. Okay, now powers. Go to the yep. roll. Yep, now it's gone. Okay, uh, so for everyone, please go ahead and remove that minus two penalty for darkness. Uh, if necessary, it'll be assigned again. <laughs> okay, so now just put it in the minus one yep. and rolling. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. It's a standard, standard success. success. Okay, so you made it. But, uh, Peaches, you thought for certain you were going to come up short and maybe off the left <laughs> side of the bridge, but you <sighs> you landed with, uh, with your upper body and about half of your upper legs on the land. It's easy for you to recover. Okay, now. Uh, sorry, sorry, this was a bit further than 25 meters. I'll <laughs> reposition. Um, now, wait a minute. I... I uh oh you threw her didn't you not or or oh, yeah now okay do you do you want to do you do you want to wait until it, she you want to do it in two rounds per person or do you want to go ahead and have the minus four penalty because we can uh, we can rectify this right now yeah let's do two rounds for her at for this one it's the first time just to get my honing in and I was like I've not I mean we're in a rush that's why we're just flying over the bridge mm -hmm. but I don't want to risk her life okay so okay fair enough so um, now all of us are all of you are considered to be in kind of a combat because it's dramatic skill resolution which means that that uh, you can still gain and play cards um, so what I need to do is basically add the rest of you. Uh, so let's see. Chris, Peaches, Rios, Andon, Katsumi, and Toma's already on there. So let me go ahead and add the rest of you guys. All right. So, uh, uh oh, somebody just checked out. No, somebody just checked in. Oh, hey, Ross. Hey, Ross, can you hear us? Howdy. Well, I, I didn't turn my mic down. <laughs> oh, are, 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 yeah. you, are you just you here to listen, or? 
I just I'm moving around answering questions and making posts so I just find yeah. pop in real quick and say hi. Yeah. I won't keep you. Okay, it's no good problem. to hear from you. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah, you're just in time to see Chris lob poor peaches across a cliff to see if I survive. <laughs> across a chasm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, hey, it sounds like some Tim Holtz shenanigans. <laughs> yep, shenanigans yeah. ensue. Well, you're you're welcome. Hope... You're welcome to hang around and listen if you'd like. Yeah. Yeah. I might, I might linger for a few minutes. Okay. All right. Yay. All right. Sounds great. So, uh, Chris, you do not gain a card for the round because you tossed peaches. Uh, uh, but you can play one into your pool because technically it is a combat. There is a PM1 Paquette fighter uh, plane that is is going to be coming across or around or whatever. I can't remember what round I was going to put that into. I'll, I'll figure that out in a minute. It's not this I'm, round. I am propped with ready with my gun, just aiming at the sky. Okay, uh, Peaches, same with you. You're able to kind of get across, but you cannot dr uh, grab a card. You can only play one to your pool. Um, All right. Okay, so let's see. Darius and Toma, you two are moving across the bridge, but you've got a critical problem. Um, now, with the critical problem, you're welcome to try and roll for the if i recall correctly the a let me let me let me go back and look at this uh critical problem okay if you fail you can restart the dsr from step a well you're on step a so you guys get to try step a um on on this uh dsr so let's see uh so step a um who wants to roll uh, athletics? I can do it. No, I, no. I have... At between Darius and and uh, and Toma. So, oh. like I said, I'm going very last because, like, if the plane comes back, I want to be able to shoot her from like a stable. Oh, spot. so you're you're staying so, on yeah. you're staying yeah. on land for now. Yeah, I'm staying on land to try and make sure everybody gets across. That plane comes back. I'm going to try to blast at it with my energy weapon to see if either I can shoot it down or drive it off at least for now. Okay, so I have you marked as waiting. Okay. I, I've Sounds marked you as waiting. Um, yeah, it's basically just me at this point. Okay, then Darius, I, I guess you get to roll athletics. And, uh, ooh, oh, hold on. Hold on. It's not athletics. Wait a minute. Let me get the dadgum scene open. Because I've got the DSR listed here. Okay, your first test is actually evidence analysis versus a target number of 10 to spot any weak points in the bridge um, and warn, I guess, Toma. So each success level gives you a pool bonus of two to spend on the moment needed until it's exhausted. Okay, so basically you get a bonus level for uh, step B. If you give get a basic success versus a ten on athletics, or evidence analysis, sorry, okay. which I am not skilled in. So here we go. Okay. Is this a standard difficulty? Um, yes, it's a standard difficulty. If you make at least one a basic success, you're good to go. Oh, I'd say that's probably going to do it. Uh, so yeah, standard success. So you get a bonus of two when you go to roll for step B. Okay. Uh, right. but you can't do it this round. So you succeeded. That's good. Uh, everything is, is good. So step A is a success. Um, wait a minute. Why did I do that? Hang on just a second. Let me no DSR that. And Darius, you're way at the bottom here. We're going to say step A for you. Okay. Um, and that means you're done for the round. Uh, you've moved out onto the bridge, but you're you're kind of examining things as you're going along. Uh, let's yeah, see. How, how deep is this chasm? I imagine it's pretty fatal. Uh, yeah, it's it's uh, sixty meters down. So Ooh, it, yeah, yeah, it would it would be kind of ugly. Uh, fall damage is on page one thirty seven. So I can't look that up right now. Or I, I, I could just to give you an idea of what falling would do. Um, now, 
for the rest of you, you're kind of waiting on this side of the bridge. Uh, I'm going to say uh, all of you could play a card into your pool. Um, Darius was not able to do a multi-action and nobody else... Uh, the, the fighter plane is not in the area yet. So, I gotta find out when that's supposed to come around. Okay. Who? 40 oh plus one bonus dice. Holy smokes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so. Okay. Got it. Now, um, so the next round, let's go ahead and go to the new round. Um, yeah. Okay, so B and D. So you can only do uh, uh, step B this turn, Darius. Um, mm -hmm. But you do hear the engine of the Paquette fighter as it's as it's come around and it's begun to drop off of the, let's see, that's east and west. So off of the north side of the bridge. So to your right. Okay. Um, but uh, Chris, you get to put peaches down. Uh, and then Darius, uh, your next step to cross the crying bridge is ooh ouch okay give me an athletics test this time it's really an athletics test uh versus a 14 don't forget you've got a bonus of two uh and don't fail such wise words of wisdom oh well Ooh. you know we gms we, we we like to take care of our players yeah yeah that's the ticket yeah <laughs> Oh, cra crikey. But you're only one point off. Do you have a plus three card in your pool by chance? Not in my pool, but I am going to spend a possibility. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Now, what? What the hell? Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, I don't think it counted it. Yeah, the die total isn't adding together. The die total isn't there. Um, That's weird. But you rolled a 16. You, you did click on the possibility, right? I did. Yeah, it says possibility. The but it didn't, it didn't add it to anything to it. Yeah, it looks like it lost track of what the previous one was. Yeah, that's well, what it seems like. Okay. Yeah. I, uh, hold on. I, I, the die total didn't come out for the original one either. That's weird. Yeah, that's, that's weird. Uh, let, me, let me just hit it again and see what happens. Okay, so 20... And 27. Let's see what that does. Uh, it didn't. Yeah, there it, goes. it didn't okay, give the die total again. There's something up with the system because it's saying yeah. failure and that was a 27. Yeah. There's no way 27 is a failure and 27 yeah. would have added on to the previous roll. Yes, it yeah. absolutely would have. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to figure your original 16. Okay, um, because that was your action total was a 13. So that means that you rolled, let's see, you had a bonus of plus two. That means you would have rolled a, a an 11. So that would have given hey, you a What was his very plus. first roll? Well, that's what I'm trying to work out. His action total turned out to be 13, which is the skill value plus two. But I don't recall what your die total was. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to delete all three of those. Uh, everybody, please reboot, uh, or not reboot, but uh, uh, re refresh uh, your pages and, uh, and, and uh, come on back and we're going to try that again. I have never seen that. Well, I'm going to wish you all luck, and uh, I'll see you later. <laughs> all <laughs> right. Uh, it, it's it's I about when technical failures are abound. Yeah, yeah it's, I don't it's, blame you. It's not going well so far, but Ross, you have a great weekend, bud. You betcha. You too. Thanks for stopping by. Absolutely. Talk to you later. Okay. So, let's see. Can go ahead and try to have like a test roll? Oh, right. Rather okay. than... Rather than do what I did before, which was to put in a bonus, I'll just reduce the difficulty to 12. 
Okay, yeah, let, uh, hold on a second, though. Let's see something. Um, yeah. You do have athletics, do you not? Okay, I do. and you've got two ads in it to make it a total of 11. Try and roll athletics again, but yeah, don't, uh, don't, don't put anything in there. Just roll the athletics. We know it's a target number of 14. Okay. 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 So it's working now. Your die total is in. Okay. And that was an 11, which gives you a plus zero. Your bonus uh, was a plus two. So that makes your action total of 13, which is a success. Now, no, it's not. Well, no, he lowered the cha to challenging instead of the 14. Well, that still gave him. Oh, okay. Okay. He okay. still went off again. Still went off. Okay. So, no possibility. So, let's. Okay. Yeah, you've. Works. 10 and 20. Yeah, 20. 20. 20. And <laughs> oh, man. 40. And <laughs> wow. 64. Yeah. It's not I, a dramatic <laughs> round, but should we go ahead and allow for a a, a, a glory card? Oh, I think, yeah. I think we just see him like pirouette across as he keeps moving. <laughs> well, oh my goodness! Yeah. Uh, you epic. know what, Gordon? It is. It is. I'm going to leave it up to you because it's your character and you made the die roll. I I know how you like the rules, and. Right. Uh, so, uh, it's not. I have, mm -hmm. I have a glory card in my hand, but it mm -hmm. is not in my pool. Oh, that's a rough one. Anybody got a glory card in your pool? Negative. No. I mean, okay, with it not Do being a wait, dramatic wait. round. What? Wait. What? Does he want to perhaps <laughs> trade with me, and then I can just immediately play it out? You can with only my uh, situational awareness? You can only trade between pools. You can't trade, like, m the card being in my hand, I can't trade with your pool. Right. I was going to, well, no, we were trade between hands, and then I'll put it into my pool with a perk. Oh. Um. Okay, that's, that's kind of different. I mean, if he has a perk that can do that, what yeah. what's the perk? Situational, situational awareness. Yeah. He can in, at any time during a uh, a combat round, or a, I would presume a DSR since it's basically a combat round. Um, he can uh, put a card from his hand into his pool uh, outside mm -hmm. of the normal card re card play restrictions, and use it immediately if desired. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Do you, do you, are you guys going to trade between hands then, and then I, get that in there? I'm happy to do that. Do you okay. want a uh, step A transfer or uh, opponent fails? <laughs> opponent fails is always welcome. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, do both of you remember how to trade? Yeah, I do. Uh, so da, 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 there we go. Okay. Da, 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 da. Okay. And there we go. All now right. I will use my situational awareness i can do this once per scene and yep. now i'm playing that uh, glory card okay you play the glory card and uh let's see what was and I succeed uh, at step b and you succeed <laughs> at step b that is correct uh so you were doing athletics to get across um you the bridge gave way out from beneath you but as uh, Toma basically described, you kind of pirouette out of the way and are able to can you continue on toward step C. Okay. Uh, now, uh, your hand... Certainly dance lessons would come in handy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Your hand sizes are already five. So that's going to be for the next time because that's, again, it says for the next... Uh, the uh, act right oh uh well now yeah. wait a minute hold on hold on hold on hold on damn it i hit the button again okay oh hand size is increased by one until the end of the next act until the end yeah of the next act okay all right so the the end of act one of the next adventure uh you'll have a hand size of five this however 
this round let me look up glory cards because uh, I'm I think you are only allowed to have a maximum hand size of five you can only play you know apply glory one glory one. card you know per die roll uh, well, he's yes. allowed to get a huge hand. Hand. He just has to discard down to five at the end of the, the right. drama. Okay. He can have more than five Storm for Night a while. Unique. Yeah, it, it, it's in. not a hard limit during gaming. It's only at the end of the the, uh, the scene. Yeah. Okay. Um, Chris and yes. Darius. What mm -hmm. does the story? What does it look like when you glory? I think it should include a defiant uh, hand fist at the uh, airplane overhead. Just saying. Okay. Okay. Well, oh. the, the thing that I would want to know before I describe that is, am I across? Am I at the other side yet? No, you are not. You're still okay, so you're mostly in the middle. Came out beneath me. So you're saying like the, the couple of planks? Uh, yeah, broke? it was like a, a, a plank or two broke. Uh, and went to the river below. So, so I picture. So, here's a suggestion. I've already taken peaches across, and we've gained the line secure. As those bo boards break and you're falling, you grab onto the rope and like uh, kind of spin around onto like fresh boards, then you're safe. Like a very dexterous and yeah. agile kind of recovery. What I was thinking was, I, I take a step onto a board, the board breaks under me, I begin to fall, I reach forward, I grab the next board, and with that in hand, I use my momentum to go up beneath the bridge, kick out a few boards ahead of me, fly up through that gap, and then land on the other side of that gap. <laughs> Very, Makes you know, sort of athletic maneuver of just using my momentum to push myself forward. That, you know what? That makes sense to me. Yep. And when your feet slap the next board, land on the next board, uh, energy goes out in a huge disc very rapidly away from you. It disturbs trees. It disturbs the river below a little bit, though you really couldn't see it because it's kind of rapids anyway. Um uh, and you see dust from the temple above uh, and to your right kind of fly off of the temple. Ten. Hmm? <laughs> I get it. One judge gives him a rating of ten. Yep. <laughs> there you go. The, uh, the, um, uh, oh, come on. I should remember these. Um, the nameless, who's the, the opposite of the nameless one? Apiros. Okay, thank you. Uh, Apiros gives you a smack on the back and holds up a big card uh, in the sky and then disappears. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know who you're referencing, but I was just thinking the named one is the opposite of the nameless one. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, that could work too. Um, it's it's kind of a long story. But to, to make it short, Apiros is the creator of everything possible. The Nameless One eats everything possible. So they're kind of always okay. in balance. Well, you as Storm Knights are trying to destabilize that for the bad guys, and the bad guys are trying to destabilize that uh, for, uh, for the sake of feeding the Nameless One.